Generation X. I remember growing up, we would have two or three vaccines throughout our whole life. We're looking at the children that were convinced in their communities, folks, to have vaccine schedules from the time their baby comes out of the womb. And then when you're in school, they would target you with all types of Ritalin and psych medicines and all that. that therefore, you wouldn't have the conscience to fight the spirit that has been what? Implemented through the beast. They want total control of your temple. You won't exist no more. Mm -hmm. yeah, real quick, this, this, was, yeah. this is the main thing. Someone mentioned this in the chat. Yeah. And so I looked it up. Let me see it. Okay, thank you, Shapat, and thank you for all the news. We get it real time from all of you. Really appreciate it. Uh, Connecticut Governor Skewart for mm. suggesting black churches should lead support for COVID-19 vaccines. Mm, mm, mm. Hold up, hold up. Matter of fact, let me, let me put it here. Let me, let, let me put it on the screen. Now, this is so good. I don't want to try to hit. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this. Let me, I'll, I'll put it on your screen. One moment, brothers and sisters. This is real-time information. It's a, give me that title again. Christian Post. Okay, Governor, go ahead. Governor, a Connecticut Governor. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. And probably just do word searches. Just put black churches. Okay, one moment. Because the brothers and sisters have to know that, you know, real time. They have to know real time what's going on here. Okay, and don't think, so that they don't think we're making this up. All right, one moment. Let me put it on your screen so you all can follow us here, brothers and sisters. I'm going to put it up here, okay? One moment. Window capture. Um, okay. Here it is right here for you. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Go Connecticut Governor Skewart for suggesting black churches should lead support for COVID-19 vaccine. That it's all about leading, having black people lead this. Like guinea pigs. While the other races just sit back and look at us just die and be controlled through the beast. This is a, this is a racial attack, folks. You, can, you can't see that? This is a racial attack. That's deep. But getting back to it, right? It shows us right here. To stick, to prick. A mark insist, punched or recognition of ownership. That is, scar of service, mark. Folks, they've always sought to kill us or to destroy us fr from the womb. Because why? <laughs> the Most High t told the prophets, I knew you from the womb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All that stuff you are, fetus, you're this, you're that. No. Those little things that be coming around and men see, folks, and when, when it fertilizes a, a woman's egg, a spirit comes. It's not a fetus. That's a spirit. Those two combinations bring forth life, miracle, a heavenly miracle on earth. And this is why the most I told the prophets, I knew you from the womb. Mm -hmm. From the womb, folks. What you got, a Deloitte? Yes, Go ahead. Sir, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Come on. Before I formed thee in the belly. Before I formed you in the belly. I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb. Before you came out of the womb. I sanctified thee. I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, folks. If they could have done, if they could have perfected what Margaret Sanger did, folks, Moses would not have been born. Christ would not have been born. They would have targeted Mary. 
and told Joseph he can stand outside mm -hmm. because it's her body, her choice. Folks, now that they understand that we know what they're really trying to do, they've ramped everything up because why? They understand that it, there's a reckoning going on in the heavens. There's realm wars and the most high is releasing the children of Israel from captivity. And they realize once we're fully released, there's nothing else they could do. This is the end of their empire. So this is a test run, folks. If, if you're not ready now, if you don't see everything that the, what the most I've been saying out of this Bible is true. I don't know what to, I, I don't know what to say further, further than this. This is a test run, but the next one won't be. So the question is, what was learned during this 6-6 six, six test run? What did you learn? What weren't you prepared for? And what are you willing to do now to get right on point, to get right on par, lockstep with the Almighty? So that you're not, so that you're not, or we're not taken off guard. For their next plan, because there is a plan. Everything we see is orchestrated. Nothing that we've seen this year was by chance or by coincidence. You can't have a disease that pop out of nowhere. And then the whole earth has already an infrastructure prepared for it. Exactly. And every business have an infrastructure prepared for it. Commercials are already shooting with people having masks and all that. Right. So you can't tell me that, okay, it's because of some, something that popped up in Wuhan. Mm. This is a government process mm -hmm. throughout the earth against Jacob. The question is, what was learned during this 666 test run? And what are you going to do to make sure you're prepared? And guess what? I need to hear this and be honest. What, what were your plans? <laughs> what were your plans that you thought, you thought this was going to be a year like any other year, didn't you? What was for you? Because guess what? This is what how Christ is saying. Even Christ told you, listen, I'm coming like a thief in the night. And if you understood that the robber was coming, you would have prepared. You would have had bars up. You'd have security up. You, he says, listen, so if you're not ready for this, you're definitely not ready for me. <laughs> okay. So things are not going to be all put in a cushy preparation box so that you can receive and prepare for what's coming. I'll tell you that right now. And then there's, there's guess another thing. If you don't prepare as an individual, you'll have no one to blame but yourself. You're not going to be able to say, well, because of this, that, and the other. And this is why I've been coming down the last couple of months in, in the last year on anyone that make excuses. Because an excuse in that day will mean death. Children separated. Okay. So do you, you don't just become and get to a point of lockstep. It doesn't happen that way. Okay. It's putting down the excuses during these times and getting things together and buttoning everything up, things up now so that you're ready whenever it comes. I knew this was coming. Just like we knew what was coming. So we had food. We weren't out there. We weren't out there all, you know, scavenging like the walking dead. We were preparing. And folks, we were doing this when people in America was every thought, everything would just last like this forever. Ha 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 ha. You talking about fleeing. <laughs> and look, look, we still got our jobs. Hey, I got an interview today. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. Yeah. Obama's gone. Look, Trump is here. Listen, life is going to go on merry. And guess what? During Noah's time, when you read the records, they were mocking Noah. Rain. What's rain? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this guy. Right. Building a ship on dry ground. <laughs> Look at this fool. Mm -hmm. Man, Noah, you missed this party tonight. Man, we had it. Listen, that party was lit last night, Noah. What are you doing? Your son's out there working for what? He's not getting paid? You out of your mind, Noah. <laughs> you fool. And guess what? Noah got on that ark and the angel shut him in. The angel shut him in. And he's sitting there screaming. When you look in the book of Jasher, 
He's crying on the other side because there's people he know out there on the other side. And they say, Noah, listen, you know what I've done for you, please. And Noah says, I cannot open the ark. The angels have shut me in. I told you. I can't. I want to help. But if I open, I die, too. So the, the most I knew that Noah had a heart of mercy that he would have killed himself to help these people. So he had the angels shut Noah in. So these people say, oh, you're going to treat me like this and let my family die, Noah? I know you. And they went and got all types of gardening tools and tried to break in the ark. And what did the Most High do? The Most High says, Noah, stand back. And here it is. The Most High had its storm, earthquake, and all that. And sharks came in. And Noah is hearing screaming on the other side where the sea creatures are coming through, eating the people that are looking to break in the ark because they didn't prepare. They're still trying to blame Noah. Well, if, if you don't save us, then we're killing you too. Folks, Babylon is going down. Are you on the ark? Are you preparing? Will you be an ass?